and they're making their move. He's attacking the merman, which we expected. And as I also expected, we have a few straggling survivors. Great job, guys. What about those mermen? Ha ha! I, I, I don't know what it is. I just, I like the mer people. They are cool with me. What is not cool with me is that lizard man finishing off her guardman, but it's okay because she has a few left. Because if she was caught by herself, I would be biting my teeth a little bit, to be perfectly frank with you. And I gave her the magic shield, which actually belongs to Taylor, but you know, he's, you know, he's selfless like that. Besides, she needs a little bit more right now. But yes, even with that, her defense is still iffy. And, hmm. Yeah. No surprise. And again, they have a numbers advantage for the moment. And despite that, ooh, that was that was not bad. That was pretty clean, all things considered. I didn't expect them to have. Well, I, did, I expect them to have a survivor too out of that group, because again, they had the numbers advantage. But those bonuses, we got them be in that area for the moment. Give it another battle or two, and yeah. That pendulum might shift a bit. So let me savor this moment while I can, huh? And Albert, old buddy, old friend. Mona me. Holding tough. That's how Balsha breeds them, though. We don't take no punks. Because punks can't take us. And that's what these guys are looking like to me right now. Came in with two battalions. All archers. Attacking from a range. Had the advantage. Still getting whooped. Still getting trounced. Trampled and... Tackled. I couldn't think of another word that starts with T. I'm a slave to alliteration. I can't help it. And where are we at? Turn 6? Yeah, okay. And Leiden, what are we going to do with you? We're going to keep you moving forward. You know, since they've already started to initiate, let's return the favor. Toss that ball back. And, oh, yeah, this should be good. We're in the trees, they're not. And they still have one left, so they, they got away by the skin of their teeth on that one. So we're just gonna occupy all the trees before they can. Keep that advantage. And we're gonna put you here, just create a little wall there. So he could get in those trees, but he won't because he's next to dead. But the other guy at seven, he'll be back up to 10 at the start of their turn. We don't have anybody who can reach him. Yeah, might as well just have Norman and her men finish off this group at this point. I think Leiden will be more than enough. And she can just hit level three. Well on her way. And she shouldn't have any problems here. Well, yeah, they only had three. I mean, <laughs> if she did, I'd have to reevaluate my whole approach to this thing. It's for you, number eight. Eight on eight. Could go either way. Yeah, that was the most likely result. You were gonna put there. He's likely gonna attack one of those troops though. At the next available opportunity to him. But that's fine, because then Arm will be able to finish him off. Speaking of finishing off, get out of my sights. Back to the depths from which you came. You abomination. You make up your choice, you make up your mind. You're either a lizard or you're a man. You can't have it both ways. The world's not ready. And. Not with you. Not with you. Hmm. Yeah, deciding how to deal with this serpent knight. 
Taylor's men are going to start moving forward. I don't think we're going to need them. He's already down to eight, which is good. Put you on attack just in case that helps, as always. It hasn't hurt me yet, so if it doesn't hurt. And do I want to attack yet, though, is the thing. You know, we'll be patient. We'll let him make the first move. Because he's got just enough health where he, he's still arrogant enough to make the first strike. That'll put us at a bit more of an advantage, I think. And Albert's men. I think this is the best I've ever seen them do. In one of my playthroughs, they're holding up very well. In my past experience, he'd be down to two at the most at this point. I mean, they drop fast. Now, Albert himself, you know, he's pretty resilient, but his men, this is the best I've ever seen them do. And when I'm recording, no less, that's what even makes it more amazing, because usually when you're recording is when everything goes south, you know? You know? That's when the feathers start to fly, but not today. And I'm very thankful. Of course he took out those troops, we expected that. And he's gonna do the same. I don't know if you can consider that a smart or a stupid move by the AI to always attack the weakest units. Because they're really not a threat at this point. Maybe they should focus on their commander, wipe out the whole division, but... I mean, that's except for when the commander somebody like Narb, who is several leagues above their own, it's perfectly understandable that they wouldn't want to do that, because I wouldn't want to do that. And we're having another shootout. We still have the advantage because we have more arrows in our favor. Not to mention a king and a knight. Speaking of this knight, let's see, we're gonna move you out the way. Move her, no, maybe. Put her on attack. And go. And if she was at full health, I'm pretty certain that that would have been the end of him. But guess who else could use some experience? There you go, Jessica. A pinch away from level two. With her one guardman. <laughs> and look who can get in the fray. Leading. Once more with feeling, if you please. Just setting hearts on fire wherever the man goes. Get you patched up. Yeah, I definitely want to occupy some mountains, I think. Yeah, I'm a... I'm a glutton for terrain advantages. It's hard to pass them up. 20%, 30%, I can't say no. It's my candy. And I'm always hungry. Yeah, I'm pretty confident about the outcome of this battle at this point. This is one of those fights where you definitely don't want to count your chickens too soon, but things are looking pretty rosy for us right now. He's got three troops left, the other guy is by his lonesome. Albert himself still has a couple. He's at full health. Yeah, I don't even need to heal him. Because normally at this point, the first thing I'd be trying to do with leading is cast a healing spell on Albert, get him back up to full, but he doesn't need it. They do. And back to this side of things. This slice of life. So we're gonna move you. Well, first. Let's see. Yeah, get you out the way. Yeah, let's go for it, Thorn. What can you do? You can kill him, okay. <laughs> Good job. I wasn't expecting that. Caught another break. So yeah, all the... All my friends of the sea can continue to move on. Though really, nobody needs them at this point, really. Narm's got her side wrapped up. leden has got things taken care of over there, just about. They're, uh... 
just a little bit behind schedule. But that's okay. Yeah, I was expecting Thorne to get him down to one or two, and then I would have Chris finish him off. But that's fine, because Thorne needs the attention just as much as she does. I tend to focus on people like Chris and Norm and Jessica early on, because it seems like they need the experience more, and it's harder to get them levels. Chris it is, because she doesn't get any experience from healing, which I've probably said a million times by now, but usually causes me to neglect Thorne in the early stages, and, you know, that's not really good either, so I'm good on him. He earned it. I can't be mad. But he's done for this fight. There is nothing else for him to do. I probably won't even move him anymore. Not expecting any surprise attacks or anything, so don't need to even really treat. Though, that's never a terrible idea if you want to do that. Apologies again, I feel like my voice is still kind of on the fritz a little bit, so hopefully this isn't too inaudible. Going into my smoker's voice. <clears throat> and I don't even smoke. <laughs> and you guys, you all, promotions across the board. And I'm not just talking like a 50 cent raise, no, no, no. Leading, leading. Now is the time to heal. Oh, but we can only hit one of his troops. So we will. Yeah, we'll focus on him. Since we're not quite there just yet, want to make sure our support is sustained for a little bit longer. Plus, it just feels good to see that he still has soldiers left at this stage. Never seen this before. And they're gone. Bye. And he's forever alone. We can't have that. We'll give a little mercy. After I take care of my own people, don't want to send them out, they wouldn't be able to finish it up. And this Serpent Knight, hmm, he could really hurt Jessica. And Narm, yeah, we gotta get her back to full before I take him on. She could probably do some good damage to him, but not at 7. So everybody else just hide on the trees for right now, let him come to us. So Taylor, yeah, maybe he'll be useful after all, just in case they can't get the job done. Him and his crew of Murdus will definitely be able to finish things off for us. And most of them are at full health, so that's even better. The hardest part of this LP is actually just holding off and finishing it before I jump into anything else Langrisser related, because I'm just so anxious and eager to show off Langrisser 2 to you guys. I, I mean, I've already recorded it. Pretty much, not the whole thing, but I recorded at least probably two thirds of it. It's already it's already recorded, so really happy about the way it's been shaping up. And I'm just really fond of the game. Really want to give it some more attention, some more love. So hope I can get some more folks to try it out for themselves. That's my main goal. So looking forward to that. And then also the Saturn version of Langris for One, level eight. Congratulations, Al. Uh, at first, I was a little disappointed because, like, what happened to all the good music, you know? Like, uh, my track from Scenario 5, you know? Army of the Empire, you know? They got rid of that. Uh, most of the music in here, the Thriller track, that's gone. They've got all this, it's a mixture of new music and music that is a ranged version of what was in Langrisser 2. So I'm thinking, like, man, no love for this music at all. But the new tracks have started to grow on me they're catchy and infectious in their own way so I, I like them just as much now so yeah I might even have to upload the music for that separately if it's not already on YouTube I don't I know I didn't see it in the search so if only for myself you guys feel free to listen to it I'm just I feel I might as well share it if I'm gonna download convert it and do all that stuff well, I'm actually gonna have to rip it from in-game and then convert it and then upload it but, yeah, I might as well share it, so feel free to enjoy it. But I know I'm going to be listening to that stuff on my own. That's just, oh, it's so good, so good. Again, same composer, I believe, who did the Lunar and Grandia series. So, 
No explanation needed if you've played any of those. You know what I'm talking about. I would say his name, but I'm scared I'm going to butcher it and mispronounce it, so I don't want to do that. No disrespect in the man, I can't do that. And I think it's a man. See, some names in Japanese, you know, a lot of those composers are women, and I always find out well after the fact. So I'm going to assume it's a guy. Yeah, because I think I've seen a picture of him. I think it's a guy, but in the off chance it's a woman, I'm just going to hold my tongue there. And I'm just, let me focus back to the battle here. So we just cast Fireball on him. As time goes on, I'm sure you'll be seeing me using magic spells more and more because they really do tilt the scales in our favor in a few situations coming up. A lot of fights would be so much more difficult without magic. That's all I'm saying. And just in case we need the extra muscle, we're going to bring them on land. But I don't think we're going to need them. But they like to feel needed, so here we are. Thorn, yeah, just because force of habit, we're going to get you back up to full. You guys should be safe, though. Again, I don't think anybody's coming up from the south to nip at your heels. I'm sending Chris forward a little bit, and I don't know why, because it'll take her forever to get up there. Ah, that's the bad part about having too many people stand by to deal with that one night, you know? They're pretty much incapacitado for the rest of the fight. And turn 10. Hmm. Isn't Lance supposed to show up? I must be mistaken. I thought Lance would show up at turn 10 with a little surprise attack. Try to help out his comrades. Or maybe you saw who they were up against and saw what Narm did a little earlier taking out all those troops and he said you know what I think I'm gonna pass on this one and I know you're thinking Lance wouldn't do that he's he's too stubborn for that he's too proud but you know it's always the ones you don't suspect everybody has at least a second side to them if not more just keep that in mind and he's sitting pretty on four except not so pretty we're just gonna chip away a little bit make it as easy as possible and they can't quite reach and you can reach I don't think they're gonna finish him off but if they do that's fine yeah I figured they'd get him down to one and Narm you're doing good you got a lot of experience we're gonna share the wealth you don't need to get this one probably gonna give it to Jessica again Taylor for reasons that'll make more sense a few scenarios from now or less than that again I don't want to give him too much experience right now I'm expecting to get him promoted in scenario 9 if not scenario 8 he might even promote a scenario 8 but if not that 9 is when it'll actually be helpful and prudent so that's my goal 